Hello and welcome to Myths and Misconceptions, a series of short podcasts talking about social care jobs. We'll be joined by Alison and Neil to answer some questions about what it's really like to get a job in social care in Scotland. Hello, it's Alison and Neil again. And in this podcast, we're going to talk about the types of jobs that are available in social care. When people think of social care, they think of the one job and that's in a care home. That's certainly one type of social care, but there's so much more to social care than that. Social care jobs are most definitely not all the same. What are some of the examples of diversity of social care, Neil? So... People don't always see social care as a whole sector with a range of different specialist services. And you are right, Alison, there are two main stereotype jobs. There's working with older people in a care home, or there's care at home, which can be short domiciliary care visits or short 15 minute visits to an older person's home to maybe make the dinner or maybe get them up in the morning. But there's so much more to social care in terms of variety and different specialisms. So when applying for a social care position, you've got lots of options. So it's important that you take some time and think about where you want to work. Neil, not everyone will know what those options are. Could you maybe just give us some examples of the different types of options and work available? So in adult social care, you can work with older adults in a care at home or in a care home setting, or you can be working with adults with learning disabilities or autism. There can be adult care homes for people with complex needs, or you can be working with a small number of people consistently. You could also be working in what's called a supported living environment, and that's supporting people to live their lives as independently as possible and participate in the community. And there are also other really important services, like day services, which are really good at connecting people that you're supporting with other people from the community, and other people with maybe a learning disability or other older adults. Then you can also work within mental health. And that's where you can be working maybe out in the community, supporting people with social inclusion, supporting people to to maintain their tenancies, maybe manage appointments and monitoring their mental health and well-being. You can also be supporting people who have maybe experienced self-harm or addiction. And then we have some work within homelessness and that's support for people who are maybe living in hostels or temporary accommodation. And then there's also more of a mobile support for people who are maybe on the streets or who are at risk of experiencing homelessness. And you can also work within children's services and that's working with maybe looked after children in residential accommodation or maybe in a short break service or providing support to the family, which is called family support. I didn't realise children's services were part of social care. Does this include people who work in nurseries? So that's often covered by social services. Social care is more about looking after the child and perhaps supporting them with maybe a disability that they have, or looking after their family and providing some respite and support for the family. It sounds really varied and interesting. And you mentioned earlier that you get training on the job and some of these roles sound quite specialist. Is that training included in the job? Yes, definitely. You don't need to have a background in any of those services to work either in children's, homelessness, mental health or adult social care. You get all the training you need when you join. Thanks, Neil. Social care is obviously a much bigger sector than many people think it is, and it includes different types of services, as we've just heard. It really is worth encouraging people who are interested to look more carefully into it and to read a few different job descriptions to see if they can find something that is the right match for them. In the next episode, we'll talk about one of the biggest worries people have about social care, providing personal care. You've been listening to Myths and Misconceptions, a podcast by the Coalition of Care and Support Providers in Scotland, with music by Melody Loops and content contributed by social care providers from across the third sector.